Hello everyone, hi. Uh, welcome back. It's, we're about to start round two here at Playa Seona. That was a nice shot championship. First round, finished one over. I think we've done pretty okay for ourselves. Uh, could have been better, could have been a lot, lot worse. As long as we can avoid the water hazards this round, I think we'll be able to put up a decent enough score. Ooh, look at the wind here, nine mile an hour. And heading straight towards this first pin. If we can avoid this bunker, I think we'll be doing all right. Well, we're definitely going to avoid the bunker. Probably going to avoid the fairway too. Yeah. We're at 105 my, uh, percent power shot. Landing is right on the beach. And for once it's actually literally a beach and not, you know, just a bunker that people are calling the beach. <laughs> all right. Club up to the 9 iron just to get out of here, I think. Might be going too powerful. Might be going too fast. Well, oh, that's going to roll off the other side. Yeah. That's a, that's a rough start. But, uh, you know what? Give me the splash shot, please. We can try and see if we can do something here. Fast and sliced. Not ideal. But we still get the par on the first hole. That is... I don't want to say it's a good start. It's an okay start. We're, we're, still, we're still out here. We're still collecting pars like they're Pokemon cards. Oh man. The slice and the downswing paired with the slow does not make for a good drive. Still gonna land in the middle of the fairway though. Which is exactly what I wanted to happen, but uh, would have liked to have it to have gone perhaps a little bit further. Eighty five to eighty eight percent. Yeah, give me the driver off the deck here. Very fast. Okay. Driver off the deck. Perhaps not the solution I wanted. Gonna land me in the heavy rough. 37 feet from home. Flop up with the sand wedge. Could be an uh, interesting shot selection. I was gonna leave us in a very nice position to try and get a birdie out of this one though. Ooh, look at that. Look at the brakes though. One going right, one going left. Oh, brake back in. No! Dang it. I was fully sure I could have got a birdie out of that one. I just, I just overestimated it a little bit. Par three. Uh, we're going to probably take the bold move of going down to the nine iron here. Off the bat, we're getting st a strong winds and we're down altitude. It's a little bit fast. It's going to get us on the green though. And should okay, it's not going to stay there. It's going to go into the fringe. Look, it's okay. We got close. We got close. Bold claim, but I think we could put this actually. Oh no, we can't put it. And it's going the whole way to the other side of the freaking green. Okay, that was bad. Should have just stuck with the chip there. And now we've got this freaking treble break and a 39 footer. That was horrible, horrible shot selection. Please do not do that. 
I kind of took a look at it and I thought maybe. And I immediately regret my actions because that's a bogey now straight off the bat. And, you know, one of those early on means you're like constantly on the back foot now. You know, it's not going anywhere near where I wanted it to go, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that that is actually a good drive. Gets us 330 yards right on the green. Does not leave us in a very good position <laughs> in terms of lie here. But, uh, look, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have absolutely happened. Wow, look at the gravitational pull of that of that slope. Just really just yanking us in there. That's okay. This one No, it's not okay. I believe we had an eagle up we I mean we had a very, very rank outside equal opportunity, but the fact that that turned into a treble putt when it should have been a double, that rankles me. That really just rubs me up the wrong way. I'm going to aim centre of the fairway just in case we hit this one very fast. Okay, that was supposed to be a fail safe. Don't go in the water. Why? <laughs> Why do I constantly jinx myself? It's another very fast. What am I doing? This one... It doesn't feel like anything's changing. That's the worst thing about it. It feels like nothing about my shot is changing. Double water hazards. I, I think that's well and truly not good enough. This one's going to be at least a quad bogey. Like that's not. I. I wish I was exaggerating, but I really just am right now. Yeah, this one's for triple. This this chip is for triple bogey. That wasn't even a good chip. Why are you celebrating that shot? It's a quadruple bogey. Come on, 2K. Why are you putting in putt celebrations for a quadruple bogey? This just really doesn't bode well for my entire run right now. I'm just tilted off the face of the earth and back in the sand again. Has exactly the same shot as I did in the last round. And just I I don't I don't I don't see I don't see a line of success for me here. Like unless I miraculously like birdie like everything else on this course. Like I'm really in a in like prob like one of the worst positions I could possibly find myself in. In terms of, you know actually making the cut into rounds three and rounds four. Just take my time. Thirty eight feet. And all of a sudden it's back 20 the other direction. I just wish I didn't leave those second pots to be like 20 freaking footers. 
I'm so tilted, guys. I'm I'm just so far tilted. I'm just really glad that wasn't a slow. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how glad I I am that I didn't slow that shot. Like this this course is just like a water hazard nightmare waiting to happen. It's a sad state when you hit a perfect and you over hit to try and to try and miss the water hazard and yet you're also like still got the fear of god on you like oh god i'm totally gonna hit this water hazard still am i even though i over hit the ball <gasps> almost jumped it in fifteen feet uphill for par ah <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely not making the cut in this round. I just have, I have to play for pride at this point. Seven over? Not going to be anywhere near good enough. I'm probably not even going to record rounds three and rounds four today. I'm just so tilted. And I feel like if I give myself a couple of days off just to see if I'm even remotely close to making the cut, and then decide from there whether to record or not. I just gotta like fast forward through like most of these as much as I can. Very fast. One, this is the second time we've landed on like the side of the fairway. And we're not even gonna land in the fairway here, we're gonna land in the heavy rough. We're so far away from home here. This is, is going to be for par. Flag out, please. Plus seven. Plus freaking seven, dude. That's nowhere near. Nowhere near good enough. Definitely not to play at CCK Sanders. It's going to be the first time since I've got my tour card that I'm going to miss the cut. And that's painful. That, uh, that hits deep. Yeah, pitching wedge into the wind might be all right here. Should get us close. Fast about a little bit. It's mm, could have been a better lie, I guess, but uh, might still be okay. Didn't break in the way I wanted it to. Them's the breaks, and you know sometimes you get them. A lot of the times you don't. At this point, it's just, well, the writing's on the wall in terms of, like, where we're going to finish, and we're going to finish below the cut line if we don't get our act together in this back nine. That's a solid drive to get us started. Club down to the seven iron. Just to see, like, can we get, like, a little bit of wind to carry to bring us closer to the hole. Rather than aim for the banks to get close to the hole and then just completely roll and whiff it wide, like so far wide. Not a great landing spot. Birdie and not all the way impossible here. Could have probably got that. Should have probably got that. At this point now, you see, pars aren't good enough because we're so far we're so far behind the eight ball. It's just 
every part right now it just feels like wasted opportunity. No, that's in the water. There, well, there goes the run. There goes the run. Unless we can, unless we can pull some sort of miracle out of here. In which case, I I really don't know why I picked the heavy rough to come out of here. Club up to eight iron. Like why I just sped through and said like, okay, this is the shot that I want to take. That was just being irresponsible, and that's just me being tilted, saying like, hey, this runs over. I'm aware this runs over. Just get me out of here as quickly as I can. Would have been a nice pot if I had landed this. I mean, I'm still going to put these runs up on YouTube. Because, well, there's no point in me saying this now because, hey, you're already watching it. And if you're watching this far, then I, you know, commend you for your bravery. But, uh, I still got to put them up because. I want to I want to document my play and you know at least have something to look back and say hey here's where I regressed here's where I done badly here's where I need to improve but uh, yeah looks like yeah uh, looks like my Thursday and Friday is gonna be free this week Which means I'll need to I'll need to figure out a video that I can put in the slot because it's not like I'm going to be making the freaking cut, that's for sure. I'm going to hit the driver here. It's going to go way too far anyway. Okay, well it's going to land on this side, but it's going to go into a heavy rough, so... You know, not exactly the angle that I want to hit it at. I can never get those flop shots accurate. And it rolls the whole way down to the bottom. I can never get those flop shots accurate. I feel like that's over hit. And over aimed. Disaster. Unmitigated disaster. 10 over. It's just, there's no point. I'm only, I'm just, I'm just playing now just so I can say like, hey, I... I don't even know what that shot was. I'm so tilted I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This is, this is, this is where we're at. Chunking shots off of rocks. Like really, like you're just what you're just like watching me come apart at the scenes. I don't know how I managed to. Oh, I guess I did bogey that one, huh? I was gonna say I had no idea how how I managed to power that, but I didn't remember. Like, oh well, actually it went in the water in the first shot, so you know you absolutely didn't, you freaking idiot. But yeah, like you're just well and truly just watching me like come apart at the seams here. And it's just disgusting to look at in terms of like, in terms of like growth and like ability to play this freaking game. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I could get a shot back here. Wow, look at that. I'm back down to only 10 over again. I wish I could be excited about birdie. But, uh... I've somehow managed to, like, drive myself into a, into a hole here where I can't even do that. Heavy rough again. Couldn't even chunk out of there with a hybrid, huh? I have to go from one hazard straight to another. Gotta pitch up out of here with a lob wedge, huh? Yeah, I'm just trying to like speed golf my way through this and just try and end the misery as quickly as possible. Another bogey. Look, every every golfer can have bad days at the office, myself included. I knew that I knew the dream of one hundred percent cuts made wasn't going to last forever, but you know I thought it was going to end on a more competitive note than this. And you know sometimes I have to learn like, even though I kind of like pot committed to like playing golf on YouTube. For like the most part and like trying to be like okay here's guaranteed here's guaranteed videos that I can upload every single week at the same time I'm just kind of like well maybe you should have just taken a week off and just not played this and you would have been in a better position than if you didn't because that can happen like you can not play around and still go up in the rankings somehow because like people ahead of you could play and could post bad rounds which is always a possibility Up down with 105 percent power still doesn't make the green there are facets to this game that i will never understand There are admittedly also facets of the game that I understand entirely and, you know, tell myself that I have learned this stuff and then just com go ahead and completely disregard them anyway. But hey, that's golf for you. You win few, you lose many. And this time, this week, it was a battle against myself that I lost. And... It's really bad, it's really humbling to have to sit here and look at a plus score in double digits for the first time since Kiwi School. And I was like, hey, look, it happens. Bad day at the office. It happens. It happens to far more, far more of us than I could possibly give credit for. So uh, congratulations to everyone who did make a cut here. I absolutely did not. So I will bow out for the week. Uh, so no videos on Thursday and Friday then, unless something drastic happens and you know everyone else puts in like extremely horrible ranks as well. But given that it's CCK, I'm not gonna bet on it. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys next week for more TTC because I definitely won't be seeing you on Thursday. Have a good one. Take care.